and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. As you can see, I've put my Minecon cape on. I don't know why I haven't had it on for so long, but it changes the Elytra when you have one. Look at that, I've got a rather weird looking Iron Golem butterfly thing on my back. I actually have two of these capes and they are so cool, so I'm gonna keep hold of that one. I've got the Enderman one and I've got the Iron Golem one from London and California. As you can also see, well Biff has just decided he was gonna have a look around my base, but besides that, I've made a little bit of progress. I've managed to put all of this base layer all the way round, but I've pretty much run out of uh, white concrete now. It's all gone. And there was me thinking I had loads to go on. No, that's it. I couldn't even finish the base layer. As you can also see, I've started a hefty potato farm. Now, this potato farm isn't actually for me. I intend on using all of these potatoes to trade at the eye shop, or I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's, it's, oh, look at that, what? Excuse me, sir, sir, oh, something went astray, that's why, huh, maybe my redstone is as bad as everyone says it is, <laughs> oh well, we'll, we'll fix that at some point, we've got a lot of potatoes, so now it's time to reap and re-sow, I don't know why this isn't working. It should work. Oh, this just isn't powering that at all. How peculiar. Wait, that... Mm, I don't know what's wrong. Guys, what am I doing wrong? Redstone people, you, got, you, know, you guys know exactly what's going on here. I don't. I would have thought this would power that just as much. I just need to make it extend all the way, but... Uh, I'm just, I'm a bit useless at this. It's not that I'm useless, it's that I'm inexperienced. I just don't know the, the ways of doing it, that's all. I kind of understand how redstone works, I'm just not very good at it yet. I am not haven't had enough experience learning all the lif little different tricks. So I'm going to quickly re-sow these so that we can produce a lot of them. There we go. All full now. Before it was about halfway, maybe a little bit more. And that gave me a stack and a bit to spare as well, so that's going to be useful when trading with the villagers. This is a design that XI Azuma VI Oid has sent me on. I'm never going to say his name correctly ever again. So it's basically powering all of these trapdoors to stay up. As soon as you hit the switch, they all shut down and they lower, leaving the water to letting the water go all the way and pushing the potatoes to the end. Now this water here will keep all of this farmland wet, but this side is not. So what I've done is I've cleverly hidden some of the water. So underneath here, there is a waterlogged slab, as you can see, behind every single one. So if I delete these, you can see them right there. So all along here, this is technically a water source block, meaning that it is giving all of these farmland the water that they need, and the best thing is you can't even see it. So this isn't a uh, permanent farm by any means, this is not going to stay this way at all, because, well, I don't do things by half measures, this is just a very temporary thing so I can get a lot of potatoes. The other thing that I want to show you is the outside of the base, because as I said, it is done, well, it's all the way round consistently, but I need your guys' opinion on something, because if we go and hop in the boat so we can get a better view and do a 180 reveal, whoa! So you can see the base of this, and this is looking pretty futuristic. This is the sort of thing we were expecting when we heard futuristic build, am I right? So what I've done is I filled it in with packed ice and ice, and I was wondering which one is best. But now I'm actually thinking that it's nice to have the alternate one. So packed ice, ice, packed ice. And that seems to work really well. And I was also thinking that the entrances could go at every single side. I tell you what though, it does look really strange, and I mean really, really strange, as it's just sitting above the water. And I originally was going to create an island of my own using all the stone I'd got, but I've changed my mind. I think it might look cool if this just slowly goes and hits the bottom of the sea, and then it's just one big 
thing and then I can make like an underwater viewing platform But that's definitely a tomorrow green problem. That's not a today green problem I've got some bad news as well guys. Well bad news for you good news for me I'm actually going away for seven days now That means I won't be able to make any progress on this now by the time you're watching this video a few days will have passed so it just means that the next episode after this there might not be a lot done in the meantime because I'll be relaxing, taking a well-earned break. But I seriously will miss working on this. I'm enjoying Hermitcraft so much, it makes me really, really happy. I don't think I've had this level of happiness on YouTube since the start of my YouTube career. And that's really saying something. That really, really is. So I just want to thank every single person that is watching this video, honestly. So. What are we going to do today besides fly around again, despite saying that I wasn't going to fly anymore? Well, I'm going to admire the build that we've just made. Oh, can we get through? Out? No. I really suck at flying. I really suck at flying. It's much easier, to be fair, when you're in third person so you can see where you are. But, boy, is it difficult. Go on, go on. Thread the... What? I didn't even hit that one. No, I'm determined to get this now. There we go. All right, we're gonna do this properly. We're gonna we're gonna go straight through, straight through. Yes, and straight through again. Yeah, nailed it. Actually, what I'm going to be doing, or part of what we're going to be doing today, is I'm gonna have a look around Iskal's base because I saw a video of his, and his base is so unique. I really want a tour around it. Oh my goodness, is that a rocket shop? I need this in my life. I need this. Oh, look, they're already selling a lot. Whoa, he's making killer money. I really, really need to start a shop of some kind. Oh, and he's selling Elytra. He sold his for 25 diamonds. Jevin sold me his for 20 diamonds, so I managed to save some money there. I don't know what to make a shop on. I really, ooh, these are a bit creepy, aren't they? The way that they, they go, chop, chop, chop. Do you, reckon they, do you reckon that they could talk? That What would they sound like if they could talk? Hello, Green. How are you today? I'm okay. Just a head on a wall. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm getting off track. I'm totally getting off track. There he is. There's Iskal. Hello. Hello. Are, you... are they oh, mine no. or yours? Are they mine or yours? That I, I'm running either... I don't really care. <laughs> <I'm out. laughs> <laughs> I hate phantoms, dude. Worst. I know, right? You can't- you're never safe. You're never safe anymore. Are you okay there? Yeah, I was just- I, I'm just- I'm just- uh, there's lots of things going on. This guy was throwing a million tridents, as you can see. Look at this guy. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. He's dangerous. I wonder if he can actually hit you. It, can he, he can. see us? Because he was just throwing them at nothing a second ago. I think if you stand up here... He can throw it because I went AFK here like only two minutes. I went, you know, you know, as you do, and all of a sudden I just hear a lot of <laughs> these things. But he's the, okay. Go on, go. I'm right next to him, and he's not throwing it at all. Oh, and then he oh, threw okay, like I think... ten in a row. This he's he's bro he's legit broken his arm. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh my god! like <laughs> you. Anyway, oh, we organized to do a little uh, base tour of each other's uh, base because we live like far enough away from each other to like not really come in contact too much. Mm -hmm. And I'm I, excited. Yeah, I really want to see what you've been what you've been doing because it is pretty unique from what I know. Before we go there, though, I have been working on something all day today. I just thought I'd uh, thought I'd let you know that there are some some available stuff in town now in case you would need it oh of course so. this is what it is he didn't want a base tour he just wants to promote his nah. new shop yeah, that's just, what it, he just, just wants mar marketing he, for the <laughs> he just wants to sell me something oh this is cool it's like a little pirate cave you got that so you got prismarine and you got sea lanterns this yeah. has all come from this the uh, guardian farm that you made okay. oh so is this is this is this your base or is this this is the guardian farm right this is the Guardian Farm. Okay, well, I need to tell everyone what I did yesterday. Because... Go ahead. I, I, well, I made it stupid. So, I said, I kind of died right, and I lost all my levels. And Iskow lovingly said, Grian, it's okay. We love you. You can use my new Guardian Farm to get XP in a matter of minutes. And he was right. But he, just before he left, he said, don't pull the lever. That's what you said, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is what I said. 
To which you responded, what does the lever do? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but Iskel didn't really tell me. He was just like, "Don't worry about it. It's just, for, it's just for just keeping the just stuff." Just don't touch it. Yeah, just, just don't, don't touch, touch it. it. And then I should have known. I I didn't know. I didn't know. I've never seen one of these before. So I was like, "Oh, how do I how do I kill stuff?" So you got to go close, and like that. And I was taking damage, right? I was taking yes. damage from these things. So I was like, "Oh, I must have done it wrong. I mustn't. I, I'm not doing it right." because I'm taking damage. So I went, maybe the lever is on and I just have to turn it off. So I went like this and then this happened. Nice, <laughs> <Again. What? laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> Help, oh no. Oh my goodness. No, he did it again. I did. <laughs> and you died. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> don't mean to laugh. <laughs> What? So what you're supposed to do is just take a bit of damage. That's what I didn't know. You're supposed to take damage because they have thorns yeah. on them. That was my mistake. But look at that. I had zero levels. And now I'm on 10. Instant XP. <laughs> hey, but hey, Grian, did you know what happens if you pull the lever? What? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Dude, I'm actually going to die again. <laughs> This is a new minigame. How do you survive? <laughs> oh no! I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. What we really came here to do was look at your, your base. Not, <laughs> sure. not do exactly yes. the same thing I did last night. <laughs> well, now that we have that done, I mean, do you know how much a polar bear weighs? In real life? Just in general. Uh, do they have weight in Minecraft? <laughs> good, good point. Um, I'm gonna guess a couple hundred kilos. Enough to break the ice. Oh, goodness sake! Hi. Hi. No, no. Oh, you know what? I don't even need to see your base anymore. Why did I fall for that? Why did I fall for literally the oldest trick in the book? So th wait, this is your base. Oh, you got a nice conduit down here. Oh, look yeah, at this entrance already. Yeah. It looks like a, a mine that's been. Like submerged. I'm glad you say that. I'm glad you say that. It's supposed to be like some kind of yeah overflowed, maybe ice age defied. Ah, oh, uh, you got a bit of gold in here. This is so. Oh my goodness. I tell you what. I've seen a few things using like trap doors and this kind of thing. So, uh, Scar has something kind of similar where he's got a like a hammock for his bed, and it reminds me of that. Yeah. But this is really cool. I'm loving this. And it's like the little details with the coral. It's like the mm -hmm. little things. I think that's the most important thing. You can build so much, but if you don't put in the details, then yeah, nothing, nothing pops. And so this is actually a, my functioning storage room. It's not redstoneified though. But... Do you get annoyed by the, like the constant swimming? Has no, I kind of like it. With, with Depth Strider, it's, it's fine. I, you, I tell you what, it's like building in creative. You get to reach all you the different heights. Yeah, that's true. You get, so. yeah, you can access things. Uh, well, I haven't got depth strider, so I'm swimming really slowly. But this, yeah, yeah this is really bad. cool. So you just so randomly placing, ch oh my goodness. I thought I was doing all right. There's more to this as well. Okay. Oh, okay. The, this is, this isn't routine. it, there's more. Yeah. So first, I did this live in a stream and I, <gasps> I mean. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking there was a room in there. <laughs> no, he's frozen solid from Lassie's. So this is what? Brumbo? Brumbo? Yes! Wow! <laughs> what? Did you just guess that name? Well, it's a... Dude, after the polar it's bear a... thing, I, I can tell. <laughs> yes, it's Brumbo. Well, I was thinking bear, I it's guess. not going to be like Bumbo Isoni because that's rubbish. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. That is the name, Brumbo. As, a, <laughs> as if he's cold and freezing in that. Can you explain to my audience what a Bumbo is? Yes, a Bumbo is a um, <laughs> anything that has that has that has life that is created to. The mustache is a must, but it also has to have an expression that makes you be. It has to have that what or something that just brings it to life. I don't like builds in Minecraft that doesn't feel. Like it has a story. So he's <clears throat> Bumbo Squidoni. Maybe you get to name him whatever you want. You're here. But Let's it's it's, it's Gallium right now. 
And now it's not. Now it is. Now it's not. <laughs> it's just I'm trying everything. to drink you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's always a scally in my... Listen, you will learn eventually. You will learn eventually. So have you got more than one conduit, or is it just the one that's powering all of this? No, just the one. 96 blocks. I have what another one that I can put up, so... This is not done, but I'm planning on putting... What do you think about this? You swim okay. down here, and, and I've kind of dug out the shape of this room. Um, but I haven't obviously filled it with water yet. But I'm kind of... I, I like that it feels mysterious that this could be a... This could be a tree in the middle, I feel. A tree this thing here, yeah, like an acacia underwater roots, like a big roots, no leaves, just the roots. Yeah, you could have. Yeah, I would say you could like have roots like coming down, you know, kind of oh, as you that's go brilliant. as you go yes. through, add some roots. Mm -hmm. uh, like maybe even like, fences would work really well. Yeah, hanging down, hanging I down. Like yeah, I think that would look really cool. You, but you would kind of need to, of... for it to make sense, you might want to put like a tree in a cave or like above it or something. That would that would really like complete it. I don't know what sort of space. Oh, you've you know got. what you could do then? You could have well, there's space. You could even make a frozen tree up there. You could make like you make it stuck in ice, like like Brumbo. This is so cool. I love this up update. I I can't really fault it to yeah. be honest. I love it. And I love the cucumbers. The cucumbers are great. The pickles. The pickles. Minecraft. Yeah, they're great. Ah, oh, you've just you've just answered the question that we were aren't we were asking earlier. I showed Iskal my list of things that I want to do, and I said, "What shop do I want to do?" I'm gonna make a pickle shop. I'm oh, gonna make a pickle okay. shop. I'm gonna sell pickles. Are they gonna be salty? Because there are the good pickles and the bad pickles in life. Did <laughs> please make them the good <laughs> Only ones. Only the finest pickles, okay? I can't charge I can't charge diamonds for pickles. Unless they are the best pickles Unless they are the that you've best. ever pickled, okay. and I'm gonna I'm fill it with as many it. pickle puns and jokes as I can. It's gonna it's gonna be awful as well. It's gonna be like pickle up two stacks for a diamond or something like that. <laughs> Yo, so you're holding some iscalium that looks a lot like a slime block, but like the ice makes it vanish. Does it? Look! Is look, it look, like look, a look! Look! Oh yes! Look! What? Look, look how weird that is. You're magical, man. I can't... <laughs> that it's, is. It's <laughs> crazy. It's weird. There's always been like weird things with like water and rendering these translucent mm -hmm. blocks, but I've never seen like vanish like that. That is completely cut away. And you can see like if you look closely, you can see like a little outline. That's strange. That is really odd. Anyway, I need to head back to my base because I've still got lots of work to do. Thank you so much for the tour, and I'm really looking forward to seeing where this goes, to be honest with you. Uh, thank you very much, and thank you for uh, for coming by. I'm, I'm excited to see the, the cake take shape as well. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping that one day there will be a big system that connects everyone's base up so we can, like, tra we can, like get from base to base really quickly instead of having to row for, like, five minutes. Yes. I agree, hundred percent. Anyway, I've got to. Uh, you, you're gonna wa you're gonna watch me, aren't you? But this is embarrassing. I'm gonna watch you. I can't I've do seen it. You die I can't so do it. I I can't do it. I just. You can do it. Come on. Yeah. Oh, you did it. Lady wow, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> you fly the wrong direction, though. Oh. <laughs> he was almost I, perfect. <laughs> I knew it. Okay. Bye, Scal. <laughs> Bye. So that was really cool. It was nice to do a little tour exchange. We obviously haven't got much of a base to show at this point, but it's nice to get an opinion. It's nice to get a little bit of praise. And well, especially as I haven't really got very far. I, I think sometimes I forget. Everyone really enjoys the bottle under the sea, the, the ship in the bottle, because it's quite a unique idea. So I'm really happy. Sometimes I forget that these ideas are, are quite cool. So now that the base is pretty much getting somewhere, I need to create one more circle. And then there's one more thing I want to do after that, but we'll get to that later. We need to just quickly put this circle together. I've got to just count this perfectly. If this goes off, basically if this one layer is wrong, the whole cake could go completely skew. And that is not good. So I'm going to have to do many, many double checks to make sure that I've got this right. Here we go. That is a full circle. I think it's perfect. Everything matched up. It all went in 
It went pretty well, actually. It went better than I expected. I'm going to make this too thick. And then this is actually where the glass starts coming in. So if this is all wrong, this is not good. That looks pretty decent, I think. I mean, to be honest with you, it's hard to tell if this is going to look good because... Well, mainly because... It's going to take such a long time to see what this is going to end up like, but... It's a pretty good start. I'm pretty happy with how things have gone so far. It's just made me realize how many resources I'm going to need. And it's, uh, it's kind of difficult that I'm going to have an entire seven days where I can't do anything. Ah, I always hit my head. Anyway, to sort of send off this video, I'm not going to end on a circle of white concrete. Would I do that to you on Hermitcraft? Really? Um, after the ludicrous display of an accident that I did with Mumbo where I dive bombed right into him to say hello but I, I di honestly I didn't mean to kill myself in that situation but I died uh, so what I thought I'd do is actually do it intentionally this time so we're gonna get rid of everything and I mean everything and then we're gonna find someone and we're gonna do a subscribe dive <laughs> It's going to be the last act of this one before I go away for a short break. So I thought I'd fill up on blood. <laughs> I'd fill up on blood. I've got my elytra. Oh, I better repair that before we go, actually. What makes this a subscribe dive, you say? This is. We're going to rename all of the redstone to subscribe. <laughs> I'm wasting so many levels on this. I've never done anything so stupid in my entire life. Okay. We're full, we're full up of our subscribe dive, subscribe dive. Look at all this redstone, you got subscribe dived. We're gonna have to go and pick up an elite, our elytra whatever, wherever we do die. But there's only a couple of people online, so hopefully we can find someone that's recording. Oh, I'm gonna need a little bit of food. <laughs> okay, so officially, Zuma is, oh. Ow! Why do I suck so much at Elytra? He's at his base at the moment. Perfect opportunity. He's right around the corner. So we gotta go way up high. We gotta find him. We gotta well, we gotta fly around for a bit and try and get his attention. There he is. There he is. <laughs> so we need to get him to pay attention to us. For a start. But he's he's not looking! Look at me! Give me attention! Right, let's get rid of the chicken. We only want subscribes here. We only want subscribe. I'm gonna go in for it. I, I'm just, I'm scared. I'm scared. And here we are. I did, I didn't die. I didn't die. Oh, hold on. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Let's try. I didn't even die. Really? All right, let's try this again. Hello, Zuma! <laughs> I don't know, I think I terribly missed. I think I missed horribly. Oh no. <laughs> that was the worst thing I've ever done. Anyway, everyone, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in episode 7. Goodbye!